Hey, what's going on, everybody? How are you doing there, bull? What's up, man? Wonder what's in up. How are you, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Andrew, what's up, man? KB1805. Mr. Alex Gordon. Good to see man. Tony Cash. Our brand new members here to the channel. So welcome, Tony. What's up, Bear? How are you, man? Hope you're doing good. Mr. Random Channel. To get better trunks and mod, do I have to... Do, you, do I have room play the game more... Um, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, areas... Uh, you would need more space from your hard drive to load the mods, if that's what you mean. Um, but but take all things in, in stride, man. All, all things in stride. What's up, Sinister Oh man? Big Jim? How are y'all doing, man? Chris Marshall, what's up? Javon Bennett, what's up, man? How are you, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Ashley Graylin, what's up? Eddie, what's happening, man? Sir Kales, what up, big dog? How are you, man? Joselito, what's up, man? Good to see you, bud. As always, uh, sorry I didn't get a stream scheduled up in time. I was actually had something else playing, and then I decided to do this because I got the skin finished today. <laughs> so you know, figured I'd go ahead and roll that one out. <laughs> uh, we got one more in here. Yeah, we got this one. Yeah, man, the banjo's playing. I hear you, man. Sledge, what's up? How are you, man, Mr. Awesome? Chris Ashford, what's up, bud? Good to see you, man. Got a little, little Freightliner Classic action tonight. Might even be able to release a skin tonight, man. I don't know if y'all are... Uh, see what we got going on here. I think we could probably do this. Might actually start... Well, let me start working on that. We might be able to upload a skin. This will be our, uh, our beta Freightliner Classic XL. You're in your camper. <laughs> Fair enough, bull. Fair enough. Sit with me. So, Sebastian, how are you, man? Tyler, what's up? Well, happy to have you watching, man. Nate Piper, what's going on, buddy? How are you, man? All right, let's see. That one's there. All right, we're going to drag some things over here. We might uh, be able to toss out a link here tonight. Let's see. Then we get this into the Discord sometime soon. Ooh, the Freightliner, uh, you don't have to buy it. Uh, now, if you're talking in-game, it should be in your game mod folder, like in your mod dealer access, or something like that. So, uh, outside of that, you, that should be the only place. It's a free mod, to my understanding, unless someone's done a um, unless someone's done a, a special one. But um, but anyway. Hey there, Tyler. Well, what's up, Rich? How are you, man? Good to see you there, Matt. Games as well. Chase, uh, good to see you guys. Chris, uh, buy those pay trucks. How do I don't raffle on them? Well, uh, so we've given away, um, since last week, we've given away um, eight trucks. Um, so we've, we've given eight trucks away, and that's been all uh, raffled, but you enter and then we give them away. So, yeah, we do those. Um, so we, we, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, you just probably have not been here, but we've given away, um, to my count, we're up to 10 copies of Idaho, and we've given away um, eight trucks. So, and that's actually, I think, three different ones. Um, so yeah, you just haven't, haven't been here to win a man. Victoria, what's up? Uh, if she's at five ninety nine, <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice, man. <laughs> yeah, he probably hadn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He probably hadn't. Cause you'd know, you'd know the answer to that question. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I said, Tony. Yeah. Tony's Tony sponsored like a couple of men. So it's <laughs> all right, man. Uh, it's all right, man. It happens, man. Uh, well, now you you know be yeah, be on the lookout for them. So, all right, let's roll this intro, man. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. Uh, going to be pulling some cool stuff today. It's going to be kind of a chill uh, kind of haul stream here. We're going to do a little interstate driving through Idaho. So uh, there's actually quite a bit to talk about in live stream today. And I was going to try to maybe get some stuff done for video today, but there's actually quite a bit of stuff on the the ledge of ATS tonight. So um, anyway, all right, we'll see you in a bit. And where did my face camera go? There it is. All right. What's up, man? Uh, what's up, Terrence? How are you, man? Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, let me go ahead and clear this off here. There we go. All right. Cool. Uh, the maps cost. Yeah, something like that, Areas. Uh, areas. Yes. What's up there, Coop? How are you, man? 
I know the old notes. I don't know. Pulled it back out, man. I was like, oh, we hadn't done this in a while. I just haven't. Uh, I haven't done any others. We haven't been doing a ton of videos either, so I haven't been. Uh, have been sponsoring that stuff. So, uh, what's up, C Payne? How are you, man? All right, so looking at uh, the Freightliner Classic XL from Mr. John Ruda. He is uh, a fan favorite of the channel. Uh, so we got the Classic XL. So if you want a link to the trucks down in the description, uh, and then we've also got a brand new custom F2G United Logistics LLC on here. What's up, Wonder? <laughs> <laughs> what's up wonder yo six uh, six canadians there for the new skin pack gotta get me some <laughs> well thank you man we might just just for that man we might go ahead and throw you guys the skin i will have to say uh i may do just a a, a few little touch-up things here and there but for the most part i'm i'm pretty done with this one but i will upload it here in the discord as well uh, but we'll give it we'll give it away tonight um so uh, yeah, there. You know, Tony's asking how many people still need Idaho, man. What's up, Banner Howard, man? Are Louis Trucking? What up? Good to see you, man. Uh, so we've got a few things on uh, on docket today. So we've got Freightliner, and we've got that new. Uh, well, I won't say it's new, but it's the uh, the Maximizer Curtain trailer. Love that trailer. It's awesome. I've actually got six single wides on this thing. So uh, let's pop out here and let's take a peek at it. Oh, there she is, and also JBX updated, as you can see. Woo. Hmm. All right, so we're, we're all decked out and ready today. Santa Claus is on his way. Hope you guys have been good. So there it is. So, uh, and it's still just a play on uh, on what we did for the classic for the actual flat top. Um, so uh, anyway, we've got... Uh, and there's some limitations with this one as well. We couldn't do... Because of the way he's laid out the template. So um, I kind of did the best I could with, uh, you know, you basically got the, the cab itself. None of the accessories are paintable except for one big block color. So it winds up looking really weird because everything gets painted white. And like little little bitty things were not really unwrapped to be actually uh, able to be painted. So at any rate, uh, we end this tonight. So we actually already got us a, uh, we already got us a load ready. Uh, we just got to go pick this thing up. So, oh, why'd that thing go away, really? All right, hang on a minute. Let me uh, refresh that. Yeah, I hit that horn. It, I hate to tell you, it's not very, um, it's not very exciting there. Hey, what's up, Captain? How are you, man? Hope you're doing well. Oh, what in the world? What happened here? Oh, I know what happened. Hang on, hold please. Alright. Okay. Alright, sorry about that. Yeah, we uh exhausted the battery on the other one and I forgot to put in my uh my no charge. So yeah. Whoops. Alright. Well thank you there, Camp Cows. Late to table late for dinner. I hear you, man. Thank you there. Appreciate twenty uh twenty big old super chats there from Mr. Captain. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> That's all right, Jose Lito. I've had a lot, man. I've been driving some cars that weren't compatible. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. It's all right, man. Uh, is there any type of way I can uh, make my level go up faster <laughs> instead of playing? Uh, yeah, download uh, profiles. And I, I, I plan on actually getting a couple out myself um, and putting out an... Yeah, I have an ETS one up here in the Discord, and I, I have not done the ETS one, but I plan on doing that uh, sometime probably at the beginning of this week. Um, so, yeah, TSSC tool is really good. So, um that what's up, Dave? Hey, what up? David's like, oh, I see something I like. 
All right, so let's. Uh, so I've actually got. Um, what's up, Brits? Game and Howard, man. This one's actually. 50, this one's 20. It's moved up to 20 because he started to add a lot of stuff on this thing. So he's moved it up to 20. So, Matt Games, it is uh, John Ruda's uh, Freightliner Classic XL. And it's already in the description, man, if you want to check it out. So. Yeah, no train horn on it. Nothing has train horns on it unless you just want to download the train horn mod, which I don't because I don't really like my train horn. What's up there, Reds Gaming, man? Would have been nice to be able to carry just a small white stripe down the side of this uh, outside of the curtain trailer just to be able to, you know, roll it, man. Uh, this is more of a, I don't know, this is more of a candy red. It's uh, it's not the bright red, but it's, you know, it's the one right underneath it. So, yeah. So, Bull, this is, uh, these engines come with John Ruta. So, these are special engines for his trucks that Creech already did. So, um, so yeah, these, these are the legit ones, man. And this is the M11. Same one in his pack, but he's uh, completely redone all of the uh, turbos and stuff in this one. Yeah, it's it's got a candy apple. It's uh, I don't have any metallic to it, but it's got a uh, red base, like a I don't know a few ticks less than the bright. And then for the flip, I've put a um, a, a kind of a, almost an orangey red underneath it. So yeah, it kind of gives it that. I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily call it a burnt orange, maybe burnt red. So something like that. I also do golden. Whoa! Oh, close there. I was looking ahead. I mean, it's got a good, uh, it's got a good uh, engine brake. What's up there, Becca D? How are you? Uh, that is correct, Alex. What's up, Timbo? How are you, buddy? I even decided to go with the old school steering wheel. This thing ain't that old, but I thought it looked good. You like the turbo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, David, you can send him, actually, um, if you want to. Uh, are you in our Discord there, David Payne? If you're not, you can actually email him at a service email, and he can. And I don't know if one of my mods can jump over to Rudy's page. Maybe you guys can grab that for me real quick. Um, but uh, he should have one on his Facebook page. It's like a email. It's like an at service John Ruta. Uh, and basically, all you got to do is email that, tell him you're interested, and then he'll send you the PayPal link, and you can do it through, without going through Facebook. So if you're really interested in doing it, um, that's the secondary way to do it. So. Go to the home store to pick up a little loot. I don't know what the heck we're picking up, but. Um, I don't adjust the Devious. And what's up, buddy? Uh, I just leave it pretty much as is. Now, I will mess with either the exhaust sound or the engine sound 
uh, in the sliders uh, in the volume control. But other than that, man, I don't really touch anything. What's up, Sean? Uh, I guess that's the way he did it, Pierce. I do not have a valid answer that would uh, that would service your question. I don't think in the way that you would want to. Because I would assume you don't like it. So there's no way for me to change it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, I don't think so, KB. I don't think the traffic's ever been all that all that realistic. Yeah, no. Nah. No, no. Nah. So when you uh, when people do custom uh, custom mods like this for a truck, I mean, you can you can make the uh, you can't really make the effects of the engine like turbo and the whistles and stuff get louder, but you can make the engine sound and just the oh, uh, I went the wrong way. Okay, whoops, didn't mean to do that. All right. Let's head on out. So we're gonna do a little interstate. So we're gonna actually get get out of our own way today. What's up, Jersey 09? How are you, man? Uh, when you start your shows, which days? Ah, uh, so typically, it's usually Tuesday, Wednesday, um, and uh, or Tuesday, Thursday. It depends. Wednesday, Thursday is always a flip day, and Friday, Saturday. I usually take Sunday, Monday off. And there's usually one day in the week I don't do anything, and that can be either Wednesday or Thursday. But my usual go-tos are Tuesdays, and definitely Fridays and Saturdays. And it's the, uh, I guess the, what would be the wild card day is Wednesday or Thursday. So, yeah, I was actually pulling it around backwards, bull. So I, <laughs> if I was going to do the other way, man, I might go ahead and flip-flop it. Um, I think that's because they're custom. Uh, they're definitely more pull gears, uh, Cooper, than they are anything else. And I think it's that way because the engines themselves don't have the big horsepower ones. Um, so they're basically Creech's engines and sounds pack. So he um, he custom did the um, uh, did the gears on that and the transmissions to be more uh, more pull heavy, I guess you should say. Uh, I got time. I'm done with using Viper Skull. And every time I do, man, it's just an absolute meme stream. Um, I'm not sure what it is about that mod that brings out uh, the weirdos, but um, for so whatever reason, man, it, uh, that that truck does. It's always a weird and just a really like completely vibeless stream when I do that truck. I think just because it's been around for so long and people are willing to, you know, either put some money into something or they're just willing to see something else because they've seen all the Viper they can take, but. Um, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, I did, David. I did. I still got to set some stuff up. I, I basically got it in earlier today, but I didn't get all my configuration stuff set up on it. But I like it, man. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's good. I should have most of the stuff left over from 137 because I'm in the same profile, but I still need to go through and just double check everything. Hey, it wasn't a salt dusty dog oh, deuce. What's up? Yeah, there it is. Thank you, man. DMC pop that in, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think I saw, man. <laughs> I think I saw on Facebook. I was like, there it is. Ah, uh, yes, he is. Uh, I used to. I did know if you hadn't asked me, I would have told you which truck he's working on. But yes, he is working on a new one, and uh, and I'll, most of his stuff will get a good update too as well for 3.8. I tell you what, man, we've really been running these new updates fast. I know these monitors are ready for things to probably settle down. Uh, the stock thrust master wheels. Well, mine is a stock wheel. Uh, are you talking about the actual steering wheel? Or are you talking about the base?
Well, I think those those individual gears, Cooper, are just shorter. Uh, they're not as long as some of these other ones, even for an 18 speed. So. What's up, Fireman Dan? <laughs> yeah, I don't normally drive Volvos. <laughs> oh, the wheel rim. Uh, so basically, the wheel rim, man. I, I um, yeah. So it's a 14 and a half inch. Um, typically, some people go for the custom ones. Uh, whenever they they get their day, I appreciate it, man. Uh, some people go for these uh, the custom ones, and I just wanted a wood a wood rim that was different than like the uh, the leather that comes on those uh, other racing wheels. Um, and so just, just kind of gives it a little bit more of a realistic look, especially when you got the shifter and everything to go with it. You know, I was like, I need a, just a, a, a kind of a rarely, you know, inexpensive, uh, you know, crack at a wood wheel like this, got the matte black in the middle. I thought about Chrome, but I was like, eh, it's too many fingerprints. And then I see what the shifter does and it's a lot of fingerprints. So. <laughs> coming on over. I did see that, uh, Jeff. They've actually been really busy, man. They've showed off quite a bit. Um, they probably showed off, um, gosh, man. Colorado, they've uh, released uh, plans for Wyoming. They've released plans for Texas. Uh, released alluded to both of those two states and the grasslands. Um, and then found out today that somebody is making an Alaska map. So I'll try to do uh, a video on that. I don't know if I'll beat everybody else on toy, but. What's up, Steven? How are you, man? Brian, I'm good. Uh, it depends, Colton. What you want? How much you want to spend? Uh, that's pretty much the only, uh, the only uh, caveat to buying a button box, man. Yeah, absolutely, Dave. Absolutely, man. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I, yeah, I get you, Cooper. Uh, yes, JVX is payware. <clears throat> I, um, I typically will skip quite a few on 18s. I'd only need it if I need them. You know what I mean? And H336, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Uh, KP, I think I got this one from uh, Energy Innovations. There's a lot of them. You just have to make sure your bolt patterns are right. And you have to get an adapter. So it takes a little bit of research to uh, be able to switch off your wheel and stuff. Jay, what's up, man? Well, for a three hundred fifty dollar one, I mean, honestly, the one that I the one that I, that I have is about three hundred all together. If you buy all of the customized pieces on that, so um, I mean, I guess that would be kind of dependent upon if you want to put it all into that. Um, there are some different options, but you, you pretty much have to kind of know someone or go uh, see if you can find someone that's doing button boxes like on Facebook, and then see what you can get from that perspective. Some of them will do it cheaper. Um, but if you want this kind of look with all the lighting and, and the key and all this stuff, like, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I know it's kind of expensive, but, I mean, there's really nobody else really doing anything quite like this. And then being able to offer your favorite YouTuber's, you know, logo in the middle of it. Not too many people doing that for what they're even charging for that one. So, the other ones for like 100 or 150 I mean, they're pretty plain. So, it depends on what you really want to do, man. Skyliner see what I'm running. Freightliner Classic XL for Mr. John Ruda. And we've got a, we'll have an assortment of trailers. I've probably got a reefer in here. We're going to haul from his, do a load with that. And uh, then we'll fly a load with this one. Uh, with CV part, uh, that's what you use to talk on a TMB if you want to. Oh, nice, Bull. Nice, man. 
Yeah, so on TMP, I actually use the CB to talk. I don't do it too much in our convoys because most everybody that's with us is actually, you know, they're actually driving in the Discord. So, <clears throat> so I pretty much use that if I'm driving by myself. I'll, I'll use it if somebody contacts me on there. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's kind of what I noticed, it, Jeremy. That's kind of why I originally went back and went with them. I was like, well, <laughs> got some cool stuff. But... Uh, did Gold Rush get a new update? I got no idea, man. I kind of, I kind of got out of Gold Rush, man. I don't, I don't really do much with that anymore. <laughs> Nothing that I know of, Andrew. What's up, Awesome Gamer? How are you, buddy? That's right there, BTS. How are you, buddy? Um, he does have one there, Cooper. Uh, it's a little more bulky and yeah, but it is a lower visor Yeah, th this is just I think this is just the standard. So he's got chrome two different three different chrome ones and a painted one And the uh, the last one is a little bit more custom probably what you're looking for Andrew what's up man big dub what's up hope you guys are doing well Yeah, I know man, I, I didn't get it scheduled early and I can see, man. I, you know, you don't don't schedule. Let people know you're going live. You know your numbers are going way off. It's kind of crazy to go from like three, three hundred, almost four hundred in the last streams to ninety. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Just the power of uh, you know scheduling your stream early and letting people know you'll be live. Because now probably somebody's like, ah, he's probably not live. He'd already let me know by now. So they're they're off doing their own thing now. They have a good big dub. Swinging by. I hear you not driving by, Andrew. Uh, I don't like the uh, I don't like the realistic graphics mod. I use JBX, the payware. Um, so yeah, I use JBX. I, I don't have time for. I've always had problems with uh, with any of that stuff. So thank you there. Uh, is that uh, NY in our twenty two? What up, man? Thank you there. Five a.m. But I hear you, man. Yeah, nice, Chris. Well, the good thing is, I'll, I'll uh, we're gonna give away this skin here in a little bit, and um, and it's uh, United Logistics. So if you're there with the company, this is one you'll be able to get right out of the Discord. But all the red that you see is basically color changeable, so you can put whatever color you want to with the white accent on the bottom. So so pretty nice, pretty nice. Hey, it may, Alex, but honestly, man, all the engines on this have a loud turbo. I think that's just the way John wanted to... I think it's just the way I want to... Because this is a Creech, uh, Creech Bomb. Creech Bomb did all the sounds for these. So, I don't really think he necessarily had anything in mind. I think he just wanted to make them loud and uh, make them proud. So, <laughs> uh, it depends, Cooper. There's some different levels of it, depending on what you want to get from them. Um, they start at like 14, uh, 14 or maybe it's 18 can't remember the uh, the rate at which it transfer but anyway it goes from 14 or 15 and it goes up to like 30 it is their expo short exposure <laughs> ah, I get it say it fast FTG uh, no train guy changes uh, everything uh, actually a lot of things anything that has to do with weather Anything has to do with graphics, vegetation. You can see all the vegetation is a lot more brighter, a lot more, um, a lot more um, vibrant, clear. Yeah, but you got to use a lot with it if you want to get the most out of it. Um, it's not just sky colors like a like a realistic graphics mod. It actually uh, does some very legit things behind the scenes. You got to have a pretty good system to run JBX. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Um, nah, Bull, he did all of them, man. Uh, Creech did all of his sounds. You can do Cat, you can do uh, Cummings, you can do the M11, you can do the Cummings 444, and they all have the really loud turbo. It's all of them do. And I think uh, Z-Mods. z, -Mods. z -Mods still works on all this as well, so you can do uh, a z -Mods 3406 or the, uh, what's the other one he did? The Detroit uh, Diesel. Well, uh, Z-Bullet, I think so. Uh, you guys are getting a good shot of it right now. 
Um, I definitely think JBX is worth it. It's quite a quite a mod to install. Um, it's got a lot of uh, configuration file stuff that you have to change in the game. You have to make a lot of things and limitations of uh, memory and that kind of thing to make it a lot bigger. Which is why I said you have to have a pretty decent a pretty decent system. You can't if you can barely squeeze medium graphics out of your machine. Yeah, JBX is not a good idea for you to waste money on. Uh, if you can run higher ultra uh, and have absolutely no problems, no matter what truck or map you're on, uh, then you can probably run JBX. But if you're anything less than higher ultra, uh, it's going to be kind of tough. I think. Uh, the best graphics is uh, either Project Next Gen or uh, or the realistic graphics mod. It's probably about the best too. So, also gamer, we are headed. I'm pretty sure we're headed down to uh, Ontario, so we're actually cutting right across uh, the state line there. We got a little bit, little bit left in there. Devious, oh man, Devious, uh, get twenty five dollars. He wants a Freightliner, man. There you go, man. And I, I bet you that guy left. Hey, why don't you raffle a payware truck? Uh, he's probably not here. He's gonna be mad. I need to find him in the comments and be like, hey, bro, we gave him one away and you weren't here. <laughs> I don't know. Train is, is it uh, any of his mods not work? Thank you there, Devious man. So we got, uh, we'll have this giveaway here on Freightliner, man. All right, Bullet. What's up, Worldwide? How are you, man? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Deuce. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, and the Freightliner Classic is probably one of the least updated ones. Um, it's probably, I would say not updated, I'll say optimized. <laughs> With the nasty J. Yeah, I, he was he was working on an NH, uh, he was working on an old Cummins, but I have not uh, talked or heard from him in quite some time, so. I figured they did train guy. Most of the sounds themselves work pretty good. I changed a few things on F mod things outside of um, outside of engine sounds which should be good you have any of that skin was well, hang on a minute and I'll drop everybody a link there Dave you can start blowing it up <laughs> yeah so I got so the skin will come both with the classic um, with the classic the regular flat and top then it'll come with the sleeper so you'll have both of them in there yeah they are Jeff they are man uh, <clears throat> they've been this way, and, and it's uh, it doesn't matter what I put in here. I still almost in every city that even don't matter if I've come in there, it's like just an initial load like this right here. And it's like whenever you get into this, it's like it just stops and then it picks up again. And I'm like, we should be able to look far enough into it, you know, with today's systems um, to be able to load all this stuff in. But uh, I, I don't know, man. It's ten times worse than it was. You remember Utah, man, had the same exact issues, except it was intermittent. Um, and about every 15, 20, 25 seconds, you'd get this weird, like, kick and pause. And now it's just like, whenever you come to a city, and it's not even like a big one. It's just like, I don't know, the computer's got to clear its throat for five seconds. Uh, yeah, Bull, that was, uh, that was Robin Icus's, and he pulled all of his engine sounds down, so. Hmm. Uh, Pierce, well, it's a real one, so they're, they're tough, man. They're, they're nice. I mean, they're not ridiculous by any means, but they, uh, they are, they're, I, I would say funky, uh, clunky. Yeah, it would be nice, Cooper. Yeah, it, it's nice, man, I, I gotta say. Uh, every time you're in your headlight, are you running a headlight mod, a realistic light mod? That'd be my question. If you're running any of that, you might want to look at any of your realistic light mods. Uh, for the most part, Alex. See, there's more of these, more of these weird drops in Idaho. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Yeah, I'll 
get it later. Yeah, you and everybody else will. I, I, yeah, he pulled all of his stuff down. He he had a general, he had a general one that was kind of like uh, everything was in it, you know, out of all of his mod sounds. But some of them are working, some of them are not. So unless someone else can pull those things together and then actually update them, I don't know that anybody's going to actually do that though. Yeah, I know, I know, Coop. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, and I actually got to thinking, I was like, that's probably what people think I'm driving tonight. Yeah, I'm not going to go watch that classic. It's the old one. <laughs> it's not important. <laughs> Little did they know. Oh, well. And that's the old one, man. That's uh, Actually, that's the one I don't know if you, well, a lot of you guys, depending on how long you've been around ATS, that was, um... Uh, shoot, when that came out, that was Oddfellow. So Oddfellow is the one that did that Freightliner Classic XL, and it was just a sleeper. Um, but yeah, man. I have no idea what what uh, what year this truck would be, what it would actually fall under. I'd say I'd say late 90s, just because it's, it doesn't have the square front end, so it's not like a it's not like a uh, like that that C model. Um, it's not like the FL with the FLC, and I think that was uh, late 80s, early 90s. This might be mid late 90s, just because it's got a very nice curved front end. So it's got some. If you look on the front end right here, uh, we basically took the stripe and just brought it down the body line. Um, it's got a really nice kind of, uh, it's not, not quite snub nose. I don't want to give it that, uh, that description, but there you go. It's closer than the, the mid nineties. That's what I figured. Um, uh, well, if you're talking about the, the free one, yes, Cooper. Yeah. It's an old classic, man. It's been around for a long time. Before we even had payware trucks, that was kind of one. That was just like, that was kind of a staple truck to have. And then even back then, man, people like Jess and a few of the other guys like took that one and edited it. And, um, you know, they lowered it and slammed it and had big wheels under it. So, same thing. Oh, man, we're already in Ontario. Gosh. Flew across here. Wild man, what's up? Uh, Jonathan, it's the same thing we always have in Idaho. Um, for whatever reason, they get in every city. Um, and then when you get in the city, it's fine. But once you're coming up to it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, I don't know if it's level of detail. It doesn't actually load the way it's supposed to, or if it just like, just loads it all at one big time. Uh, and then all of a sudden it has to stutter through that. And then after that, it's fine. It's weird, man. What's up, CJ? Chris for hour, man. What's up, Frog Man? Uh, well, are you running mods there, Frog Man? got mods in it depends um, so have you run maps like if you run uh, if you run maps in these cities that you're dropping off to if you were running like coast to coast or something before that you might want to double check and make sure that all of your garages have been sold uh, make sure that all your trailers have been sold uh, if you do have trailers in there even though if you're not using them make sure they're not freight market trailers I'm just good, Allison. I'm just good. That's how long I played this game. I'm just kidding. I'm modded in, man. 
Yeah, it is Train Guy. It is, man. Yeah, I, I mod profiles there, Allison. So. <laughs> Uh, well, do you have any, uh, uh, second question is, do you have any trailers that you haven't sold that draw on the freight market? What, David? What, what is that? I guess the short answer to that would be, Uh, breaks the bottom of the shifter? No. No, no, no. Not if you have it done the right way, Pierce. And now mine's on a Fanatec, man. Uh, mine's on the Fanatec. I, it's a Fanatec. It's literally a block of metal. It's huge. Um, so I, I don't have any... It, it, yeah, it's not breaking anything on mine. Now, if you're running a, if you're running a TNHA uh, from, uh, from Lod, uh, Thrustmaster or if you're running uh, the one from uh, the G29... Yeah, it's yeah, it's something this heavy would break it right off, man. Hey, what's up, Bud Leak? Uh, so you got to own trailer, sell it if it's if it's not, it's not. Uh, I'm not a trailer as a regular SES trailer. Hmm. Oh, okay, I'll check it out, Dave. Uh, CJ, this is the um, this would be the M11. Hey, what's up, Grease Monkey Welch? How do you get this truck? It's in the description, bud. It is a payware. Um, it's twenty. Uh, very real. Uh, very worth it because this is uh, everything on the truck you get sound wise. The wheels will not come with it. Those are from um, these wheels are from uh, Jess Mods. They are free. You just have to download them from the mod sites. But the truck itself, the sounds, everything you hear, it's all all part of it. So, Thomas, I'm running everything. Uh, pretty much ultra. Been trying to mess around, trying to get a lot of this little lag and stutter, trying to figure out SSAO, uh, trying to figure out the best setting with that with anti-aliasing. They seem, uh, for me anyway, they seem to clash. Um, so when I turn either or up really high and the, both of them high, then I, I, I get even more uh, crazy stuff that you're seeing, like uh, between all the uh, the stuttering and the lagging. Uh, but then if I turn either either or of them down um, and then turn the other one way up, then I notice I get way better performance. But only thing I don't like is uh, turning the anti-aliasing off like that, especially around your wheels and some of your chrome leaves it a little bit jagged, which I kind of hate, but I guess it's the, the trade-off. Yeah, that'd be good, Dave. Yeah, I'd be fine, man. What's up, face? <laughs> Non-essential stuff. Fair enough, Welch. Fair enough. Well, we're giving one away, man, so uh, you might hang around, man. Who knows? You might win. Um, yeah, I mean, if I was a modder Cooper, I could, but, um, yeah, no, I, I, I yeah, I just stick with Rudas, man, since that's what I've got. some thunder technically eh, technically maybe just because we got a skin out there <laughs> oh it's be always best bts to run uh to run uh mods all right here let's do this because um i know i know somebody out there that really wants this so uh keep your eyes david peeled i may do an update for this one uh and we'll see if the stream goes dark then power flickered and cut me off but um 
They sound like we got some thunder rolling in town here, so uh, we'll see what's happening. All right, so I'll go ahead and get this out to you. So there, if you guys want it, there's the skin. If you have this truck, go and grab that skin. Um, it is for both the classic flat and the sleeper, and I'll upload this in the Discord as well. Uh, and I'll try to uh, let you guys know if we do wind up updating this or adding to. Uh, I don't think I'm really going to have to do anything on this, but, you know, for whatever every reason i may may decide to update so i know it is thunder rolls you might hear um so these wheels allison are custom uh these are modded wheels uh, but you can find these uh big alcoa custom rims 2.0 if you search that in google uh for ats mods it will throw you right to jess mods 2.0 pack and it's a really good wheel pack it's got a ton of different wheel well i don't say a ton it's got like five or six different wheels uh and they're uh they're all really good so yeah <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I actually did some uh, did some stuff up in New York, and it's one of the uh, this the the it's the engine ladder one. The, it's the first uh, ladder company right there by the World Trade Center. For you old enough to, out there to uh, remember remember that. Uh, so we visited the firehouse up there, and I, I had to get some uh, some merch. It's really cool. All right, so here is a reefer. This John Root is a reefer to go one back, so we'll uh, we'll throw this sucker on here. All right, so that's up. Uh, what's up, Goof? How are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. So let's do, where are we at here? We're in Ontario. Exciting pallets. Now, we might actually drive a little bit deeper into Oregon. We had, I mean, I really haven't been anywhere else in the map. I've been chilling right here. Um, there is some Colorado uh, in the map, which is kind of cool. I'm not going to show that. SES might not give me a <clears throat> give me another key. Oh, Emerald Nile, nowhere near close to that. But I normally don't tell anybody actually where I live. That'd be like this thing you wouldn't want to do. <laughs> What's up, Geo? How are you, man? You think it was a trailer? Yep, yep. It normally is. I mean, typically, anytime that happens, man, it's typically because you've either sold something that the game's still looking for, and the fact that you were trying to do it when you actually, you know, drove in, I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that's why. All right, let's snap trailer to us. Oh, look at that. Oh. Hey, man. Oh, thank you there, Nick. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you there, man. Five dollars there. Seen a fair, uh, fair few of your videos. The first time catching live. Thanks for making such chill content. Well, thanks, man. Thanks for appreciating chill content. A lot of guys don't. A lot of guys don't. Viper works just not the sounds. Big Jim, we just, <laughs> we just had that, man. Well, I guess you got your Freightliner stuff squared away then. You probably, I mean, you, uh, you probably need the, uh, do you have the 3.1 pack? You have 3.1 3 1 pack from, uh, from Creech. Oh, well, should have thought about that. Oh. Oh, love that thing about 1600. I don't really like the Jake break, I'll be honest with you. I wish it was the one that comes on that uh, was the other one we rolled with a couple days ago. Man, that one was awesome. Oh, it was the triple four uh, Cummings. That one was nice, man. Uh, you probably need Creech's 3.1 sounds pack, honestly, man. M11, Andrew. I, I maybe, I maybe would have stole that from a guy, man, but maybe Dave, maybe uh, some guy from the UK named David. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I may have may have took that idea. Oh, I left the chrome back. I mean, to put uh, painted trim on the back. Whoops. Yeah, well. Uh, I think he, uh, well, John didn't do it. Um, but I think, uh, I think Creech did. Let me, if we go by, if we go by a, uh, here, let's just, let's just do this. We'll mark and I'll give you guys another sound bite. So we got a clip. Uh, all right. So we'll stop in. All right. We'll stop in there and I'll see if they have an M14. 
I can't remember if it's on here or not. I think it is, but don't get your hoops up. Uh, honestly, you can't lose use the sleeper there, Allison. Yeah, it's just it's just for looks. We 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 kind of wanted them to allow us to be able to use the sleeper in a parking lot uh, to be able to go bash the fatigue simulation, but they gave us the option to just cut the fatigue simulation off. So that's what everybody does. <laughs> it seems like, well, what's the point? <laughs> Yeah, JDS, yes, man. I, triple four is really good, man. It's got the best sound, Jake Break. It really does. Like, it's the most realistic sound. Except for Z Mods 3406, man. That one's pretty beefy. Uh, way probably, it's like, man, you just take that out. It just blends so well with his engine. Most of these don't sound anything like the engine they're actually cased in, so it's kind of like, eh. Zombie Joe, what's up, man? Uh, who's the lead to tell me your name there, man? Uh, what was your name that you're under? Because I forgot last time I was going to make sure that account was good and clear, man. I like that. I like that, Shicey. <laughs> friends only. Oh, that'll be our new one instead of this private. It's friends only. That'll, that'll be known. <laughs> uh, yes, Cooper. Uh, Great America did update to 1.5.5, and I think he added a little bit of South Dakota in there, and he'll be finishing that up. So he said once he gets all the South Dakota, he's gonna send me a, uh, he'll send me a copy of that, and we'll get it early here on the channel. The, uh, channel. Because that's probably why somebody was cleaning up through the uh, through the names and whatnot. That's probably what happened. All right, I'll, I'll grab Osley too. Just I'll grab it after stream, buddy. What's up, Thunderwolf? Good to see you, man. Oh, let's see. Y'all wanted to... Let's go up here. Let's change this engine sound out. Let's see if you got M14. Should have known you guys would want the M14. Oh, what was I thinking? Why did I not put that on there? Let's see if we can squeeze through here. Probably shouldn't have done this, but whatever. All right, we're good. What is new to the truck? Uh, nothing's new to the truck. It's just uh, some Freightliner Classic XL. Just works like it always has. Looks good like it always has. <laughs> oh, all right. So we do have a, quite a few in here, but I don't know which one of these. Let's see if any of these work. Sometimes these work. Sometimes they don't. So, um, looking probably for this one. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh, it's much easier with steering wheel. I'd be like driving a car. Can you drive a car with a... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's the old classic right there, man. What's up, Chronic? Let's see what the Jake Break sounds like. And we get a running start around here. Whoops, missed that one. Whoops. Okay, so there's a. Yeah. That's the one y'all want to listen to. Oh, stack them lower chassis, stretch frames. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, it did, Alex. I hit, I hit a, an imaginary wall. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Bull. I, I did too, man, to be honest with you. So this is... This one's not bad. 
Um, the jag brakes on these trucks, for whatever reason, don't really change pitch. They just kind of just, no matter how fast you're going, it's just, and then it never really dies down in volume, which is kind of weird. But um, all right, let's uh, let's do this. I need to turn. Let you turn it up a little bit there. Let's see. Nope, not right here. What the heck? Here it is. Let's do one other thing. Sometimes you can get a totally different engine sound if you flip flop these two. So I'm gonna turn the engine volume up and the exhaust down. Let's see what happens. All right. Yeah, full 53. It's uh, yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's and it's yeah. <laughs> Spread axle and all. Company garage over there. Woo. Oh, I like that though. Nah, eh, not too bad. See what I mean? And then all of a sudden it just dies off. That's kind of weird. But it'll sound good when we're rolling down the wall. That garage is in our Discord, which you will have access to as a leap over after stream. <laughs> uh, I've got a whole thing, man. I've got a lot of skins up there that we did for the company. So yeah, those are all—they're all free. <laughs> I just haven't—I uh, just haven't been able to get it, get them uh, uploaded into Steam, man. I've just been slack on it. I was trying to get them all finished and then just kind of start uploading them one by one. All right. <laughs> Which you will have after stream. What's up, Chronic? Uh, can we go that way? Yes, we guess we can. Okay, C Pain. Hey, I, I did get the Freightliner. I, this is the one I really want to get done because this is the only one I didn't have like complete. Uh, how do you guys in chat feel about the 359 from RTA? Y'all like that one? Y'all like uh, y'all like the uh, 359? What's up, ghetto? Yeah, it can be, man. I'm a perfectionist anyway, so it's even rougher on me. Some guys just whip the stuff out because they don't care what it looks like and. Typically, it winds up looking okay for everybody else out there, too, where they just make it look okay. But me, no. No, I, I get too deep in it, and I'm like, oh, that just doesn't line up just quite right. Oops. Because sometimes, man, these, sometimes, sometimes these, uh, these skins, man, they, depending on how the modder unwraps the truck, man, they can be tough. Thank you, they're devious. Well, hey, man, I was gonna say, man, try to hang around, man. Let's open up a little. Uh, we'll catch a. We'll catch this load here, and then uh, we'll open up the uh, the giveaway, man. But uh, if you do have to go, uh, thank you, they're devious. He's uh, sponsored another giveaway here for Mr. John Ruda for this truck. So, you guys are going to get a chance here to win the Freightliner Classic XL. So. Oh yeah, the FLD. I know. I can't wait for him to do a little bit more with that cap. It'll be nice. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, y'all think uh, y'all think maybe devious too, because he uh, sponsored another giveaway here on the channel, man. So it's super nice of him to do that. Uh, uh yeah, Alex can be. Yeah, it can be. Um, sometimes those are, uh, yeah, uh, anytime. I don't know. I just kind of got to where I don't run it anymore because it's not being actively updated, uh, you know, per what we'd expect. So let's go ahead. Let's um, uh, let me go ahead and set you up, guys, a giveaway here. Uh, Mr. John Rudas, uh, Freightliner Classic. So it'll tell you in chat what to use. Uh, 
and then we'll drop this one off. And uh, since we've got all of this stuff kind of happening over here, we're going to kind of chill on this. And um, this might make this in our last one to give away here. So let's see. Let's complete that. Yep, there we go. Let's so we got some storms rolling in. All right, free copy of... All right, so I will set this for, uh, let's just set this for uh, 12 minutes. I don't know, random number, I know. All right, so here we're going to start it right now. So you guys, go ahead and type in, uh, it'll tell you in chat. Make sure you do it after it goes. And I've still put a ticket in for guys. Uh, if you make sure that you've uh, subscribed, also make sure that, um, also make sure that you have your subscriptions not hid. Um, there was a few things that I'm uh, hopefully going to be able to work out with, um, with, uh, Streamlabs, but at any rate, I have sent a ticket in for them to kind of help me figure out why some guys are getting in these giveaways and other guys that are obviously followers, um, and, uh, are very involved. Their names don't even come up in it. So, uh, if it tells you that your name's in there, then you're in there. All right. Hear that through the mic or not? What in the world does not like these little medians? All right, try that again. I figured it would be able to clear that little median there, but I guess it's too low. Yes, I don't know what it's hitting. It's not even hitting anything unless there's collision. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think it's the, um... I think it's the... Ooh. Oh, y'all hear that? I think it's the fenders on the truck. And the trailer. It's not the wheels, it's the fenders. Yeah, I'll have to make this one our last man. We've got some some nice storms. I don't wanna I don't wanna blow the computer up. <laughs> yeah, they are sinister. They dragging. Riding low, baby. Hey, you see that truck pull out? It's about time they the uh, AI pull out in front of each other. <laughs> Only time pull it out in front of me. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, they thought I was stealing all this. <laughs> it's rolled with those uh, anti, uh, what do they call them, the anti theft uh, bollards that come out of the big old steel pieces that come out of the pavement. <laughs> I like that. Look at the clouds over on the far end. And that's the kind of the, that's the pretty part of JBX is, and there's a, you know, how was he, 80 or 90 different skies and stuff, different combinations and stuff of different things and I mean, that kind of stuff is incredible. So we'll do, we'll do a little review on uh, JBX because I've had a lot of people ask me. A lot of people on Facebook are already privy to JBX. They've already been using it and showcasing it to everybody. It's been around for a while, but um, we'll, we'll do a video on it and show you guys how to put it all together. Oh, sorry. I didn't, just didn't put it back in there. Whoa. 
thing we hit that. That was toxic. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm in Central Central Carolina, so we're. I guess what came through you uh, is uh, fixing to hit here, or some new ones fired up. We had a couple that uh, basically just we had some big ones that just missed us. They were north and south of us. But I guess this one's going to hit a square on the nose. So, uh, absolutely, Raphael. Absolutely. Um, I couldn't dream of doing ATS without track IR. Once you set it up correctly, then uh, you are good to go, man. It's the best thing if you've got one monitor gaming. Let's see. Let's get us a. Uh, let's get us a screenshot. Almost looks like there's a big old dust storm over there, don't it? Actually, you know what? We're probably just gonna need to go ahead and hop over here. And let's grab one like this. Let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, I'm in hurricane. We have, yeah, we're in hurricane. But it's funny, man. North Carolinians, anybody on the coast is, you know, they are, they are, they are, they are to the wall when it comes to hurricanes. They they could care less, man. <laughs> Really good. It's like let me at it. Go be out there swinging a baseball bat at it. I mean, it's actually comical. It's 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 silly, but it's what they do. <laughs> no, no, not not that. Not flooding like that. Uh, Trayvon using a JBX. Yeah, they pull the head, it'll blow over it where they just flat out just go at it, you know. Yeah, we're going to tough it out. Go and put some plywood up on the walls. That ought to help, you know, just hold everything together. And, uh, you know, it'll be all right as long as we got bread and eggs and milk. You know, the three things that'll go first when the refrigerator goes silent, you know. Yeah, those would be good. And it's like, uh, why would you want the three things that are going to go bad first? Well, you know, because... Uh, make sure we get them for their all going yeah we haven't actually got them well we've gotten some big ones but we really haven't been the East Coast hasn't been all that active the past few years it's been a good thing used to be we'd get one at least every year especially the beaches man the beach to get smashed every year but they they they've fared pretty well the past five years uh, yes, Cooper. So this, this, uh, so this right here is John Root as part of his USA trailer pack. Um, so if you want this particular reefer, his trailer pack uh, is I think 15, and it comes with a flatbed. It comes with a pace setter, grain hauler, and then this one. So it's not as customized as the custom that you're talking about. Uh, that was done by Chris. Was it Im Im Imperiator or? Im or I can't remember what his name was on the forums, but anyway, um, he's since uh, moved on to other modding adventures. So, yeah. Hey, what's up, Peter? Thank you, man. Yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, true, big Jim. Nobody can forget that one. All right, make sure you guys get uh, in. We got four minutes left on the giveaway. Make sure you get that if you want to. Uh, uh, if you want to uh, get a crack on this truck here, we got 200 miles for a destination, so we'll pick a drawing. Uh, once we get to that, uh, once we get to our destination. And somebody's going to want to make a free copy here of the Freightliner XL. So I'll um, I'll pass your information off to uh, to John tonight. So he's in, I believe, Moscow, Russia. Um, he's, I think, a student um, or a uh, like a doctorate student, I think, in Moscow at the college. And so I will um, uh, probably, when he wakes up in the morning, uh, so I'll get his information uh, as well and by the way we've given like away eight or eight uh, probably eight to ten trucks away this past couple of weeks and i think i've made contact with everybody if you have not gotten an email or have not gotten what you did win and, and i mean this from a legitimate standpoint make sure that i know uh either send me back a reminder email uh, and make sure that i know that you uh that you got something obviously if it's something i uh, i will probably be able to jolt my memory 
Um, so yeah, so don't just email me like, hey, I won stuff, and you didn't, because I'll I'll check it. So I'm not a complete buffoon. So Dave McCullough. How are you? What's well, a good computer that you can use? What do I have? I've got an i7-7700-1080 Ti, which is way overkill for um, for ATS, especially on the newer system, newer card stuff. Um, so you can get away with a, a much more uh, above average computer. Um, but it's like I tell everybody who asks, hey, what should I buy? What's gonna give me the best? Um, this thing, oh yeah, it does have an interior light, which I thought was kind of cool. Got like interior lights and trucks, there you go. Um, but the main thing that I like about um, main thing that I tell people when it comes down to uh, to buying any kind of computer stuff, buy what you can afford two months from now. I don't mean I don't mean go buy outside of your means, but I do mean try to buy as much as you can and get as much as you can, even if it means saving up a few extra months. Even if that's a couple of hundred dollars, um, it'll pay off in the long run. And then buy that extra. So if you, let's just say, for instance, Keith Matthews, you go up there. And there's a really good computer up there for 800 bucks. Uh, it's not going to be great, but it's not going to be terrible. And let's say you've got the next step up that gives you an upgraded graphic card, maybe an upgraded motherboard for a thousand. And you say, well, that's going to be two more months. Wait the two months, save the money up, get the thousand dollar computer, and do your research. Know what you're buying. Don't just go in there and buy something and say, well, this will probably run it. Because buying a computer is not like buying a console for games. Yeah, upgradability is a good one. Uh, at some, you know, if you've never if you've never gone through uh, computers and never done anything with them, then you know, times the build parts are are fun. Uh, but if that's not your thing, then you just, if you want to have the upgrade ability, you need to buy it with that. <laughs> and you only get that from actually just being able to. Um, um, you only are really able to do that if you know what you're getting and know what kind of like motherboards and RAM and all these other kinds of things that are somewhat, um, you know, you can at least grab a couple extra versions up so that way you can, you know, buy the next graphics card or you can get some more RAM with it and everything fits without you literally having to unpack the entire thing and then pack it all back up with a new motherboard first out of the gate, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know if any of that makes sense, but if it does, good. If it don't, I don't know. Uh, do I have to deal with copyright? Uh, I don't do anything with the mods. I drive them. So I think people think that I that I um, that I for some odd reason like I'm a, a champion modder. Like I don't mod any of this stuff. Like this this truck, I don't. It's not mine. So, uh, Bam Bamba, I, I think it will. Um, I would say MacBooks and any kind of Apple products are not great for gaming. And they're made for uh, more like a professional app processing rather than they are for game gaming processing. So, no, not Pierce. I never have any issue with it. But I, I don't. I don't make the mods. I just drive them. Um, so I'm just creating content with them. So it's it's fine. The uh, thing that I do have to deal with copyright on is music, which is why we don't bust up a lot of you know good old tunes while we're driving around here on ATS. <laughs> Stuff <doesn't> happen. <laughs> a skinner and a builder drive right there, right? KP will draw it here in 113 miles. So whenever we get to our destination, uh, which is in the next one, next city over, where is it? Going to Bend. So it's uh, it's in a few miles. Look at that. Mm -mm. 
That's a David shot right there. Let's get, let's get one there. <laughs> He's like, okay. Um, no, Pierce, uh, because all of the modders, none of them are American. Um, we've all kind of joked around on the stream, like, why don't uh, anybody get in trouble for this? It's because um, they um, they're they're not American. Um, they are um, Russian, they're Brazilian, uh, some Europeans, and they deal with copyright laws totally different than we do here in the states. So, and honestly, I mean, they're probably not making enough money for any of the other ones to care, like you know, Peterbilt or Kenworth, to come after them. Now, they would care if, if SES went off and uh, developed a truck, put it in-game, and didn't tell them. Yeah, they would go after them then. And I think they have. I can't remember who it was. Somebody went after them the first the first years they brought out ETS because their trucks were basically carbon copies. They just hid the logos. And then that's when they had to really start watching their uh, P's and Q's with copyright and trademarks and all that other kind of stuff. But... <laughs> no. Nice, CJ. Yeah, I don't know. Trust me, man. There's a there's a there is a lot of uh, there's there's a lot of practice in that, my friend. <laughs> and this is pretty. Yeah. So when people ask you why you pay for uh, graphics mods, why you pay for trucks, um, I think that right there is probably a good enough reason why. Um, especially if you've done this for a while, um, you know, you want something more out of the trucks, you want something more out of the game, and, uh, and that right there, that's it. That is it. That's, that's all the reason you need to break off a $20 bill. Save you a cooler of beer, get you a graphic spot. <laughs> oh, my favorite build and drive. Well... I don't know, man. I've had I've had a lot. Honestly, I haven't done them in a I haven't done them in a long time. So, I mean, we did one earlier uh, a couple days ago, but I mean, I, I have not done this stuff. Building drives in probably what four, five, six months, maybe longer than that. Um, and I had a few in there that were good. Some uh, I had some Peterbilt 389 nine ones that were good. I, I remember the meme streams more than I do the actual really good ones. I remember the ones where chat totally called it wrong, you know, and and that happened more more often than you would probably care to admit. <laughs> What's up, Blitz? How are you, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They well, they got in trouble the first year, uh, Goof. They got uh, they got in trouble for I think it was Mercedes, one of them, or Daimler Chrysler, one of the one of the early ones. Uh, they basically made non-branded trucks but they made them look exactly like the other ones they just pulled the emblems off of them and so the companies were wise to it and said um no 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 you can't do that so then they had a you know they had to go ahead and hurry up and and uh, fix licensing and then there birthed uh the original like by the time we moved in ets2 ets came along everything was licensed peterbilt kenworth you know everything we do now all has proper licensing with it because they're selling a freaking ton of copies I made mean, eight million so even they say uh, Kenworth or Peterbilt, let's say they get two dollars a copy. I mean, it, it tells you how much money they made off the kit, off just just SES software. Even, even if it's cents on the dollar, you know, even if it's a dollar, eight million copies sold. It's eight million dollars, you know, for our mathematical challenge out there. Uh, it, it is, it is, uh, Chris. Um, and the main thing is, you know, like I tell people, like, don't, like, if buying a mod is not your thing, like, you don't have to comment nasty stuff to the channel. Don't buy it. Uh, but if you are looking for that one extra thing that's going to, like, okay, that really looks awesome, but I'm scared to do that kind of stuff, I can just tell you, I'm not going to send you, um, I'm not going to send you to anybody that, uh, that I don't either buy from myself or have a uh, working relationship with and don't deal with on a regular basis, so. I'm very, uh, I'm very skeptical. I get a lot of guys telling me, "Hey, I'll give you some stuff here if you'll just throw my, my stuff on stream and, 
you know, showcase what it can do. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. It's just too much there. Thank you there, Frozen Emperor. Appreciate it. Um, you know, it's just too risky on my behalf. And uh, I don't want to ruin that, you know, with uh, with you guys here in chat. So, <laughs> more legendary. I guess maybe legendary. I, I would just say it's just, uh, you know, it's an investment. It's like anything, you know. It's like when people fix up a car. Do you need that extra, you know, jacked up truck? Do you need a lift kit and 38 inch inch tires? No, you don't need it. But if it makes you feel better to have it. So, you know, that kind of stuff. All right, 32 miles. We're going to be drawing here for a free copy of Freightliner Classic XL with Mr. John Ruta. So, uh, I think that it's already closed down. So, we will, like, uh, here in uh, 28 miles, we'll get a draw in here and uh, we'll get out of here because I see these storms are going to be continuing to move. So, I don't want to. Turn, turn the system off here and chill out. <laughs> you 45s. Yeah, but 45s are expensive. We can go for 38s because, you know, they sell them at the local tire store. <laughs> oh, we're good, Chris. We're good, man. I try not to, man. I, I, try, I try not to send anybody anything that, that, that I wouldn't purchase, purchase myself or haven't already purchased myself. So, Oh, yeah, there you go. Well, thank you there, Devious. He's still hanging in there, Devious. This giveaway... It's brought to you courtesy of Devious 2. Three month plus member here with MTG United. Ah. Um. How are you? Um, I have PayPal. Uh, he does sell five issues. Uh, he does Selfie, so you should be able to use a regular card on Selfie, I think. check and see man i'm pretty sure that his uh mod site i'm, I'm pretty sure it'll take a, a card and not just paypal i think you can pay paypal but i think you can use a regular credit card or you can use a prepaid one if you don't have credit if you're uh you know if you're a youngster you might be able to talk your mom or dad into going in and grabbing a uh like a prepaid card you know put some money on that and you can use it as well Okay, we're now. Oh, this, oh, this is the tough one. Don't know that I'm gonna get this stretched. Uh, I'll try it. Oh, I'm definitely not getting it there. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. There's no way I'm going to be able to get 53 footer plus this one around there. No way. I think my fender got hung again. Oh, okay, it's good. Uh, there's only one 900 that I know besides John Rudas, and John Rudas is uh, crazy compared to the default one. The only other one that has a 900 that I'm aware of is uh, Pinga's got an edit of the 900, which adds the lower chassis and all the stuff that you know people sometimes want. So, yeah, I wouldn't try that one, man. <laughs> ah, Pierce, touche, buddy, touche. <laughs> Uh, we'll do ETS uh, here this next week. Um, uh, well, depending on what happens Friday and Saturday. Um, Friday and Saturday, we may... I don't know what we're going to do, to be honest with you. Um, we're still waiting on TMP to update. So, you know, that's something that's still rolling around. Um, here you go. Let's do this, guys. Here's this one. Uh, so this file right here is for the skin on this. So if you uh, do win, uh, then go ahead and hurry up and grab that skin because uh, you'll be able to use it. All right. So... Let's pick us a winner here. Um, let's see. Huh. 
Man, people hate Freightliner. All right, here you go. Picking a winner. Congratulations to the lucky dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> Two. <laughs> oh, man. Chronic, dude. Oh, my gosh, man. <laughs> <laughs> is he is chronic in the house man he's gonna be like you gotta be kidding me man he just won uh he just won another another one man uh god what was that one we did about two two streams ago i know man i know <laughs> all right he's here <laughs> oh man nh336 man thank you there man first gear member man appreciate you buddy he didn't win this one, C Pain. He won. Uh, what was it uh, that you won, Chronic? Uh, uh, what was it, man? It wasn't the. It was. Um, it wasn't the Max Superliner. Uh, it was Pingas. Pingas three eighty nine. That's what he won. Was Pingas three eighty nine? Yeah, that's what he won. I know, play you, you two for two, man. That's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, Pingas. I know, man. All right, I tell you what. Why not, man? I'll give another one away. This is on me. All right, this is on me. Um, so we'll pick us another winner, all right? <laughs> all right, here we go. One, two, three, pick it a winner. Oh, yeah, seen this guy around quite a bit, man. CJ Quillinan. Are you in a the house there, CJ? Yeah, he is. I see him up there unless he just clicked off and left. There he is, man. All right, CJ. All right, Chronic can hit me up in Discord. Uh, CJ, do you are you in Discord, man? Uh, if not, let me know. Email. Yes, yes. All right, well, hit me up there. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, just let me know in discord and I will, um, send me your email, uh, on discord. Same with you, chronic. If you'll send me your email, um, I will send both of those over to John and then go ahead and grab him. Um, uh, what's no thanks. No. Are you on discord? Which, what you need? Wait and I can see what uh <laughs> Oh Discord. Alright. So just uh Alright, so email me right here, man. There you go. Email me there, CJ, and uh and let me know what you got. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, and stomp things down here because we're getting some good uh good thunder starting to roll through here. So uh so thank you guys for coming. I hate nobody else likes Freightliner Classic, man. This is an amazing, awesome truck. So anyway. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, so you guys know, I will not be here tomorrow or Thursday. Uh, I'm actually going to be out of town, so don't really look for me very much on either Discord or this. I'm actually going to be completely out of town. Um, and, uh, and, then, uh, and then I will be back Friday for live stream, I think. Uh, Friday or Saturday, one of those two. Depends on what TMP does. Um, we may roll an ETS. We may roll back. I don't know what we're going to do, man. Just have to see what everybody's going on. Who's Elite? I'll take care of you right here. Uh, after just change your name in our discord man and you won't that won't happen to you again um and uh so make sure you two uh cj and uh chronic make sure you guys email me or hit me in discord i'll send your stuff over to john and then you guys should get a truck sometime tomorrow whenever he gets to it because i know he's uh probably in bed right now so yeah man well thank you to devious too uh he got you guys squared away and uh and then uh congrats there to cj man so yeah i'm glad you can get this one man so uh, so thank you guys. Appreciate you coming out stream. Just remember, won't be here tomorrow or Thursday, but I will be rolling in uh, hot on Friday or Saturday. All right, and then uh, then we'll basically be ready to start a new month. I think so. Ooh, okay, that lighting's getting a little closer. So uh, I will see you guys here later. Y'all are awesome. We'll see you in the next live stream, guys. Peace out.